Authorities across all jurisdictions work day in and day out to keep the public safe. Oftentimes that includes simulating specific scenarios to ensure the best response. And Malik Wilson takes us to the Williston Basin International Airport in tonight's top story, where officials there conduct an active shooter drill. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! According to FBI.gov, between 2000 and 2018, more than 200 active shooting incidents have occurred. Typical targets are large gathering places like airports. These types of trainings are just really important to ensure the safety of all, um, not only staff, but, you know, civilians that are coming in uh, to from the airport. Um, we just like to make sure that they're safe and they're trained and educated on what to do if a scenario like this is to happen. From start to finish, the simulation lasted about an hour beginning with a video demonstrating scenarios and what one should do if placed in that position, followed with the police briefing. Then, airport staff were asked to go back to their normal duties to wait and see if anything happens. This is really the, the first emergency exercise we've had an opportunity to perform at XWA since we've commenced operations. Dudas told me with this being the airport's first scenario, it helped bring the reality of such a scary situation into perspective. This uh, active shooter exercise really opened our eyes to understand what an active shooter and a live firearm sounds like as it's going off in our facility. Uh, we identified some areas where uh, sounds don't carry and uh, staff and our the people that are employed here at the airport don't necessarily have all the information to to respond or to react to an active shooter. So it's a great training exercise. Sergeant Detective Hendricks says although this is a very serious and specific training, it was only a glimpse of how tactical things really could have gotten. In a situation like this, you know, not only would our patrol officers, but obviously multiple agencies would assist in a scenario like this. Um, and we're all trained um, in, in an unfortunate event like this. She says events like this can make the difference that saves lives. In Williston, reporting for KX News, I'm Malik Wilson. Hendricks says there will be more simulations in the future to continue strengthening their tactical response. Now to our COVID-19 